Financial support has again been given after a fire near Khatsbai in the office front reignited in strong winds. Helicopters with water buckets and ground crews are battling to contain the flames. The road between Bart Skerzersbos and Franzkrau has been closed due to the thick smoke which is affecting visibility. SABC reporter Mariska Bota has been covering the devastating fires. We are standing in a more rural area, five kilometers outside of Khansbai, which is that direction behind the camera. And behind me, let me just step out so maybe you can, can see my colleague Clinton serve trying to keep the camera steady as the wind is quite strong. Um, the, the fire here, w w w there was a flare up overnight. This fire that we're seeing here comes from Franzgral, uh, which is about a kilometer to the other side. And that's the kind of thing that has been a major problem with these three fires in the Overstrand. The fire seems to be under control, or at least it seems to, the firefighting services seem to be getting a handle on it. The wind picks up, and before you know it, you are looking at flames as um, that has been happening the past four days. Right now, we're standing on somebody's property who's graciously allowed us to come see their desperate actions to, you know, stop the fire from spreading um, onto his land. Um, I'm going to ask Clinton if he can to maybe just pan to the other side. We're standing next to a guano fertilizing factory or a guano fertilizer factory. Guano, of course, is very uh, flammable. So people are trying their very, very best to prevent that fire from reaching um, the shed here from where the guano production is happening. Um, no Nervous moments here. We spoke to the owner a little bit earlier who said to us he is so grateful for the community that came out in full force. He says he didn't know half the people here that came out and brought buckets. There's Jojo tanks on the farm that they moved closer to the fire line and people are literally grabbing buckets of water and throwing it on the on the fire as quickly as they can. The noise you hear in the background, of course, is a helicopter from working on fire that has been flying around this area, water bombing um, the fire lines that are very difficult to access. Um, but we must, should maybe just take a moment and think about um, the pilot. Maybe Clinton can show us the chopper in the background. It seems like it's going to be taking off. Um, just a moment to think of the pilot that is flying that helicopter because the wind is very, very strong. Um, it takes a lot of skill to be able to fly in conditions like this is very, very difficult. Um, this is the kind of thing that uh, firefighting services have been facing for the last four days, thinking the fires are under control or they have a handle on it. Let's, let's just pan for a moment quickly. Um, there's, there's the Oryx helicopter from working on fire, taking off. He's going to water bomb in the mountains that's now behind the camera. Um, reaching those places that um, ground crews cannot necessarily reach. Um, yeah, as I've been saying, this is what, what firefighting services have been facing for the past four days, thinking those fires are under control and as soon as the wind picks up. And of course, there's only so much resources. We have uh, fire crews and teams from across the province now gathered in the Overstrand. And uh, right now, most of them are in the uh, Hansby area fighting this place behind us, making sure that it doesn't spread. But if the fire wind turns again in Hermanus or Betis by, all the resources have to be directed that way again, which is about 60 kilometers from here. And that's the kind of difficulties they've been facing as um, it's three separate fires. It's not one thing. So resources goes where the greatest need is at the moment. Okay, so just a quick update. Uh, it is now 41 homes in Betis Bay that have been completely destroyed. 28 others have also been greatly damaged and we've heard this afternoon from the um, chief fire officer of the Overstrand, Lester Smith, telling us that two firefighters have been injured. One with a, he has an ankle injury and another has been taken to hospital for smoke inhalation. So this is very dangerous work and um, until these fires are out, there, there won't be rest for most of the crews um, that are working on the fire lines. Um, Lester Smith, as I said, the, the chief fire officer, I met him on Friday night. I did an interview with him for the first time. It's now Sunday evening 
and he's still on duty and that's the kind of dedication that you see from firefighters men and women both from uh, civil society from uh, organized uh, firefighting crews people are very dedicated and passionate and they help each other as we've seen on this farm here our people are coming out um, to assist their neighbors to ensure that they don't have any damage um, these fires are certainly far from over and we know that uh, the overstrand municipality will, will grapple with this at least for the next few days still our reporter Mariska Bota bringing us up to date on the fire situation in the Western Cape. Well, South Africa says it agrees 